Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Hey there, manga lovers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have a special treat for all the romance enthusiasts out there. We're counting down the top 10 slow romance man way that will make your heart flutter and keep you hooked till the very end. Get ready to experience the beauty of love unfolding gradually as these man way take their time to weave heartfelt stories filled with anticipation, growth, and undeniable chemistry. So grab your favorite beverage, find a cozy spot, and let's dive into the world of slow burning romance. Starting with number 10 on the list, Marriage of Convenience is a romance drama manhwa series written by Ken and illustrated by Ant Studio. The story starts with Bianca de Arno, who was a ruthless countess in the kingdom of Severan, infamous for being a wicked and selfish wife, while her husband, Count Zachary de Arno, bravely risked his life out on the battlefield. She sat at home and spent his money. It wasn't until her final day that Bianca realized the error of her ways. Before she died, Bianca prayed for a second chance, swearing she would do better and woke up in her 19-year-old body. With her second chance, Bianca starts to see everything in a new light. The plot is interesting and has a good pace, not too fast or slow. Also, the character's development was really good and well-drawn. I'll recommend you try it for yourself, but it's definitely a good read. The ninth place on the list goes to The Beloved Little Princess, a comedy drama, manhwa written by Saha and illustrated by Ikkyo Studio. Beginning with Princess Anisha's birth, the Hyperion Empire had a prophesied reign. The newborn princess has an unfathomably adorable face and an endless supply of devoted maids, so life is fairly good. Her two crazy murderer brothers and her war-hungry father are the only problems, and she needs to stop them from destroying the Empire, with the never-ending stream of assassins attempting to assassinate her and those bothersome memories of her previous life. Anisha has a lot on her plate, yet she has no immediate plans to resume her position as a great magician in a magical realm. Being the last best chance for Hyperion has its advantages, after all. Being the adored princess of the kingdom is not easy, but these subjects will simply have to do. This is an extremely interesting story with a cast of amusing characters. The art is mostly lovely. If you're seeking an excellent comedic romantic romantic manhwa to read, look no further. I would suggest giving it a try. Going up to number eight on the list, Charming the Duke of the North is a historical romance series authored by Gachunga and illustrated by Stardust Via. The story begins when Reinha, Korea's most popular actress, gets injured on the set. She awakens to find herself in the kingdom of Iklin, where she meets the northern duke Kalsian, who saves her from a demonic beast. Following that, he wants her to pretend to be his fake lover so she can act like a socialite and uncover the plot going on in his castle. Honestly, I was getting tired of the historical romance theme until I read this. I expected it to be another generic storyline, but it's actually such a refreshing and original story. The artwork is rather great. The characters are pleasant and realistic, and the relationship growth is gradual. Therefore, if you're seeking a slow romance story, give it a try. You won't be disappointed. Moving to seventh place on the list, Solitary Lady is a drama romance series authored by Kin and illustrated by Ming Sung. This webtoon storyline sheds light on a lady named Helise, who has already lived seven times while assuming that everything will get better each time and unfortunately dying a miserable death every time, except since her last death. Now that she knows what will occur if she still trusts her family to get a better life, it's time for her to make a difference. Overall, the plot is intriguing and well-written. In addition, the art is stunning. The characters are deep, and the female lead has a strong personality. Thus, if you're looking for a wonderful romance story with a strong female lead, you should certainly read this one. Going down to the sixth spot on the list, Kill the Villainess is a popular historical romance series written by your April and illustrated by Hagee. The plot revolves around an average, working Korean lady who awakens in the body of a villainous character named Eris. 
From this, you get to experience what the main character goes through and her way of coping in a world she's not a part of. The unfamiliarity of her surroundings and the hateful treatment she receives from strangers she's never met before in her life help strengthen her resolve to get back to where she came from, no matter the cost. In a nutshell, this is an excellent read with well-developed characters. The artwork is fantastic. The attire, hair, and shining eyes are all gorgeous. The artists do a wonderful job portraying the characters. I would recommend it to anyone looking for something unique. Going down to the fifth spot on the list, like wind on a dry branch, a captivating tale that blends historical fiction with romance and tragedy, while also taking inspiration from real-life events, is written by Dal Sayal and illustrated by Huayam. As plague and turmoil afflicting the empire, enchanting widow Rieta Tristi finds herself at the mercy of a malicious nobleman and his dying wish to have her buried alive beside his corpse. The plague has taken her husband, slave traders have taken her young child, and now her own life is at risk, until an unexpected visit from the empire's outcast prince changes everything, is a compelling manhwa that combines historical elements with romance and drama. It offers a thought, provoking exploration of the human condition, and serves as a testament to the power of love and sacrifice. With its engaging storytelling, beautiful artwork, and well-developed characters, this manga is sure to captivate fans of historical fiction and romance alike. Reaching number four on the list, The Viridescent Tiara is a romantic fantasy Korean comic written by Sark and illustrated by Bainu. The story begins when a typical graduate student wakes up in a fantasy realm from a book she wrote when she was a teenager. The character she became was originally destined to die, and people are out to get her. Even though this character's past was full of villainy, she used her insider knowledge to survive the flame of the Azure Ring and make things right for the House of Lasha. Can she earn the trust of the hero and get ahead in this world? All in all, the manhwa captivates readers with its enchanting visuals, intricate plot twists, and the emotional journey of its resilient protagonist, making it a must read for fans of romance and fantasy. Going down to the third spot on the list, my in-laws are obsessed with me, Written by Han Yan Seol and illustrated by Sangu, the story revolves around Parashati Jahart, a count's daughter who got remarried after her mother's passing. When her father died, he left her all his fortune. Then, Parashati's greedy stepmother and stepsister conspire with Parashati's lover to kill her. However, under mysterious circumstances, Parashati is brought back to life and travels back in time before her murder. To buy some time before getting her revenge, Parashati visits the handsome yet notorious Grand Duke, their Dio Lapillion. During her visit, she uncovers a horrifying secret about his family. Generally, My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me is a gripping manhwa that offers a compelling blend of romance and psychological suspense. With its engaging characters, atmospheric artwork, and unpredictable storyline, it is sure to captivate fans with thrilling and suspenseful narratives. Reaching number two on the list, how to Win My Husband Over is a romantic fantasy series written by Spice and Kitty and illustrated by Siru. The plot begins when a young girl dies in an airplane crash, feeling she has finally fled her dreadful existence. She awoke as Rudbeckia de Borgia, a minor antagonist in a historical novel set to perish at the hands of her husband, Isk Van Omerda. Surviving the unstable Borgia family is challenging enough. But now she has to marry the man who would murder her. Everything is fine. All she has to do now is persuade Iski and all of his fellow citizens that she is absolutely harmless. While the premise may seem familiar, this webtoon distinguishes itself through its well-rounded characters and nuanced exploration of marriage dynamics. It offers an enjoyable reading experience that combines romance, personal growth, and a touch of drama. Overall, this is a captivating manhwa story that delves into the complexities of love, marriage, and personal transformation. With its relatable protagonist, heartfelt moments, and charming artwork, it presents a compelling narrative that will resonate with fans of romance and character-driven stories. We have now arrived at the topmost position on the list. Maybe meant to be, a romantic comedy series authored by Honey Skeen and illustrated by Dom Cho. The narrative centers around Jia Han, a 32-year-old freelance worker facing unemployment who grows weary of her parents' persistent pressure to marry and establish an independent household. When she unexpectedly encounters her childhood friend, 
Minchiol Jin, who is likewise burdened by parental expectations. She impulsively suggests that they enter into a marriage of convenience to resolve their shared predicaments. To her astonishment, he accepts the proposition, thrusting her into an unexpected union. Undoubtedly, this wholesome rom-com series stands as one of the finest works I have ever had the pleasure of reading. The characters exude a delightful blend of wit, maturity, and commendable qualities. Moreover, the artwork is aesthetically pleasing, serving to enhance the overall appeal of the publication. If you possess an inclination towards contemporary romantic tales, intertwined with humor, yet entertaining scenarios, Maybe Meant to Be is an absolute must-read.